Mal Williamson, um, tell us a little bit about what's, what you've done before this film. Grown a beard, 53 years old. I used to make a lot of films for other people, corporate, TV-ish, promotional videos, uh, straight to VHS type of um, commercial sales things. Um, did that for a living after coming out of university doing a fine art course. So I did the RT stuff, the London Film Collective type of work and, and that worked well. But I kept coming back to narrative stuff. And then the, the documentary type of stuff really that turned into promo films. Um, gradually that ended up with more and more teaching so I did lots of workshops here in Hull and Sheffield, Independent Film, Hall Play Studios in Leeds, um, at different universities, and then eventually ended up full-time university lecturing. So now you've got your own feature film here, based here in Hull. Um, what's, what's made you decide to do it now? The technology has to be the main thing. When I was fresh out of uni and, and doing stuff, it was tape based even though it's like beta cam or umatic and it's still a tape based situation you start editing the film you've got to get it right every shot has to stay there you can't really go back and change stuff and you move forward but as everything went non-linear and onto digital and then the cameras are just superb the access to the lenses the audio technologies moved on as well with that chinese microphone technologies and cheapness it's like wow and, and then you've got a distribution network people can see it you can put it on the internet. And all those things weren't available when I was younger as a filmmaker. And that affected choices I made as where I went. But now it's like, well, no, let, let's get on with this. Let's get on with this feature filmmaking. So tell us a little bit about the, the idea of the film, where the idea came from, and how you got everybody together uh, to, uh, to create. Uh, earlier in the year, I uh, had a, a concept for a short film I thought I'll get 10 minutes out of it and we spent an afternoon uh, here at Creative College improvising uh, working with uh, Stephanie Potter, a great dancer, uh, Mark Pollard and then Sam Horkoff came in as a musician um, and it was great and I thought we'd get 10 minutes out of it and when I edited it it was like oh this is working actually, single camera shoot, making up as we go along and got 40 minutes so I thought well, why am I bothering making short films because two afternoons I can get a feature film at this rate, at this shooting ratio, so like, let's do it, you know, so I thought, oh, that's much better, so that's what, what I think of as films. Short films seems to be about people who like messing about with cameras and lights and, and actors and stuff, and they kind of go and do it, and they go, hey, look at this, and it's all way too filmy and too intense, so I prefer the long, lazy art world of a, of a feature film where you create a world for people to go into, so I realised we can do that, and the technology can do that. And there's a thing called no budget feature film, so I thought that's great, because low budget feature film means six months to a year of planning and trying to get money raised privately or publicly and all that kind of thing. It's just like, I don't know if it's gonna be any good. I don't know if anybody would wanna give any money to it, and I'm not sure what I'm doing. I just wanna make a film. I don't wanna set up a film company, and I don't wanna set up a funding project <laughs> to, to raise loads of money. I want to make a film. So a no budget thing seemed great. Does anybody want to join in? You want to join in, you'll make it 10 times better. So I'm going to make it. I could do it this weekend. If you want to help, it's going to be better. And, and that's, that's how it's moved on. So other people have joined in on that basis. And now it is tightening it up. We are getting the contractual stuff involved. And, but everything seems to be going along naturally as good people get involved, it's like, oh crikey, this is a proper project. Uh, so the things are happening more naturally than trying to force a great big movie project. For me, I'm just making a film, I just want to make a film. So in terms of the, the people you've now got on the, on the project, <clears throat> uh, where, where have these people come from? Um, what, what do they bring to, to the project? It's through asking around in Hull, if you want anything done in Hull, you just ask your mates and they know somebody who knows somebody. So we've got, uh, we've got producers on board, we've got editors, you know, executive roles, consultancy, all a bunch of people who know what they're doing and have done it before. Art director turns up, costume designer turn up, and all these people have got experience with films and movies. So it's, 
it's not a learning curve so much for them so brilliant and then alongside of that we've got people who come from the theatre world and people who come from music and they're more on a learning curve like I am with it and 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 it's it's all just pulling together nicely a mixture of of young people from Hull people new to filmmaking in Hull and experienced people from Hull and out of town where would you once this is all done and it's all edited and looks amazing where would you like this to be in terms of I'll just sit and watch it over and over again if <laughs> I get forget that bit it's all done it looks good and it's amazing brill that that's great we, we we are increasing ambition we are as part of that sort of legally contractual thing of kind of what we're doing with people and how to have insurance and look after people when we're actually working together on it you have to sort of start thinking about that next stage i think we're really at a point where we will hopefully be going for distribution of some sort whether that's a tv rights kind of thing around europe and the world trying to license it out there um or you know cinema distribution is probably a huge ambition probably not relevant for us at all but if we can get a film that's consistent from beginning to end it's doing what we wanted it to do it's saying the things i wanted it to say then great we're, we're up and going and we're heading towards that idea now is there anything else you'd like to add anything i'd like to add um yeah, plenty, but that's why you make films, isn't it? So you, I want to do it by making films rather than saying it. Yeah. That would be the point of making the film, really. You know, it is a film about Hull. Uh, my experience of Hull, other people's experience of Hull and what it's like to make art and, and be in the creative world here in Hull, the arts and music scenes. Uh, hence, we've got lots of great people from the arts and music scenes are going to be playing themselves in the movie. Uh, and it's also about all of art and all of creation and all of how that happens and what its creators do and, and how to look after ourselves while we're doing it. Excellent. Mallow Williamson, thank you very much. Hey, thank you, Jules.